No skeletons in my closet. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my front entry coat closet organization and really just how I organize. Um, since I moved, a lot of you guys have been interested in like home decor and organization posts, and I'm gonna go through kind of room by room, section by section, and show you what I've been doing as the progress is happening. So I'm really hoping at the very end of the year to give you a full apartment tour. So I'm not necessarily going to do these in any particular order. I am just gonna do them in the order that they are done and completed. So without further ado, here is the coat closet tour. Okay, for just for frame of reference here, here is my front door and then I've got a cute little mirror from Target right there. And then here is my front entry hall closet. Okay, so here is a quick overview of how I have laid out the closet and I will be leaving links below to all of the items that I can find. So let's start back up at the top. Okay, so at the top I have a really nice shelf and then I have a little wire basket that I believe I got at Bed Bath & Beyond many years ago. I also have some dog grooming tools and then um, this is just a umbrella that I can tell you I've maybe used one time since I've lived here. I also have another nice basket. I believe this was also another Bed Bath & Beyond purchase and inside of that houses all of my winter gear, so all of my mittens, hats, scarves, and things of that nature. I actually used to have two of them, but I did consolidate all of my stuff once I moved over into this apartment so I could have extra room to play. Um, over on the left hand side is just open because that's where my other bin was. Right now I'm just housing this like little star thing I got from Target. I have some random like home decor kind of all over the place right now in storage because I have not completed my entire apartment. So that's just hanging out. That's just what's happening. Um, all right, so let's move down to the actual bar. And in the very, very back, um, I'm not a big person on like sentimental items as I'm sure some of you know that have watched my videos for a while, but I do have two dresses back here. This first dress is, oh, it's the wrong way. This first dress is what I wore to my high school graduation, very much uh, in the vein of 1999, just a very simple linen dress. And then this dress, which is very difficult to see and extremely sparkly, is um, my high school prom dress. And I know it looks like crazy on the hanger, but I don't know, I just can't get rid of it. It obviously does not fit me at all because uh, yeah, no, but anyway. And then um, inside of this is, so it says Banana Republic on it. This is not from Banana Republic, but this is all of my Girl Scout uniforms. Those are the only sentimental clothing items that I have ever kept and probably will ever keep. And then moving right along to my jackets, I kind of organize them in the way that suits me best at the season. So right now, I just have like a little rain slicker back there. This is just kind of like a just in case situation because the only reason I keep this is because I have a dog and it needs to be walked all the time. So if it is like actually torrential downpour, I will wear that, but very rarely. Um, this is more of a fall jacket from Banana Republic. Um, this is like a little bit of a nicer jacket. Um, I think I got this on Amazon. I can't remember where I got this, but I remember changing the buttons out quite a while ago. But I do like it, but it's a little bit more dressy. And then here's some more fall things. Um, another kind of fall situation with like a little puffer. Um, this is something for work that I've never worn, but whatever. Um, it's still kind of cold right now, so I'm kind of like interchanging between like my big ski jacket, kind of a like a moto fall jacket and then also like this little puffer. I, you know, it just depends on the day of what's happening. And then I have this cedar chip from Bed Bath & Beyond that I love. It makes it just stay nice and fresh smelling in here. And then also all of my hangers, I believe I got at Target. They're all the thicker ones. So if I have a very heavy jacket or item on there, um, it doesn't like, you know, 
fall right out or anything like that. So, and I do like to have extra hangers on hand um, just in case I have guests over that want to hang up their coats as well. So moving right along to the bottom, um, when I moved into this specific location, I decided I wanted a little shelf to go in here. And the reason why is because I have these really, really ugly Sorel boots, but you know what? They're warm and that is all that matters. So I needed some sort of storage. So like the bottom of this like situation wouldn't be a total jumbled mess all the time. So I actually got this shelf from Target and I will link it below if I can find it. I believe it was the Room Essentials brand. And then I also got this little shoe mat thing also from Target. Right now it just has like my work warehouse shoes on the left and then it also has just my regular dog walking sneakers on the right. There are other shoes that I can put in here as well, but honestly, I'm just gonna keep like what's in my current rotation in here as well as like boots and things like that where um, they don't fit in like the little shoe tree that I have in my master bedroom closet. Okay, so that is it for my front entryway closet tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. As always, I will link as many products as I can find below for you guys. And I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.